So the Great Depression had some of the most famous images that we've seen in American history. And the one you're looking at on your, um, I guess your computer or your phone right now, is probably the most famous of those images. Um, so this is Florence Thompson. She is a migrant laborer. She has three kids with her in that picture. One of them is an infant um, that you can see down there in her arms. And the other two are, you see up here and right there, they're um, up close to her for warmth and comfort. So this picture was taken in 1936 at a pea pickers camp in California. Uh, at the time that this photograph was taken, the family was out of work. They were living in a tent, and basically they were eating frost-ridden vegetables from the field. So they were stealing those vegetables from the fields. They were also eating some wild birds that the kids were catching. The family had just sold its tent to purchase food, and the caption, the original caption on this photo read, destitute pea pickers in California, mother of seven children, age 32. Um, she noted, or the original photographer noted, that there were 2,500 pea pickers in this camp and that most of them were living in this same kind of condition. So a second photograph that I want us to look at is right there. So this is a family migrating from the Midwest um, about 1938. They were also in search of work and for a better life. And we saw this scene repeatedly throughout the Great Depression. Drought and debt pushed farmers off of their land in from the Dust Bowl because uh, they were living in the area that was affected by the Dust Bowl. A lot of them took to the road with all of their possessions and most of their possessions were strapped to a truck or a car of some sort, which was a very, very, you know, difficult way to live. Um, it was in that car. So that represents those workers that were having to move back and forth. A couple of other pictures I wanted to show you. First of all, we have this one. Okay, that is a man, obviously, who has his head hanging down between his, um, his legs. Um, he's sitting next to a wheelbarrow, but um, that wheelbarrow is supposed to represent the work that these people were not having. Um, so a lot of people obviously lost their jobs, uh, and that wheelbarrow was supposed to re represent that fact that they didn't have the jobs. The photographer commented on this picture. Her comment was, I had begun to get a firmer grip on the things I really wanted to do in my work. This photograph of the man with his head in his arms, for instance, five years earlier, I, would have thought en I wouldn't have thought enough to take a picture of a man, no more. But now, I wanted to take a picture of the man as he stood in this world. In this case, a man with his head down, with his back against the wall, with his livelihood, like the wheelbarrow, overturned. So, representing, once again, that that idea that when Americans lost their jobs, they really, really struggled with that concept and their self-worth self -worth went down the hill dramatically. So in this picture, we see US Highway 61. Uh, this is in Southeast Missouri, and it is lined up beside it. You see there are sharecroppers and the sharecroppers lost their jobs because machines had taken over their labor. During the 1920s, this, um, this whole idea of the machines taking, taking over agriculture resulted in large-scale farming. Those who were employed in the previously labor-intensive organization in farming, like these sharecroppers, were often pushed off the land. So uh, the caption for this was plantations of the delta are coming under the machine the sharecropper system is collapsing in its advance and sharecroppers are being cut from the land in protest hundreds of families white and black victims of its devastation left their cabins in january of 1939 to camp along the 150 miles of open road So those are some pretty startling images of the Great Depression. I want you to keep those in mind and make sure you add those to the chart that we looked at today in class. 
about how the Great Depression influenced different groups throughout American society. And I'll see y'all then.